This video will show you how to create a rule to automatically assign a category to a meeting request or update received from a specific person. If you have a meeting request or update already in your inbox, simply right click on that request. Go to Rules, Create Rule. Since you want to categorize this as a specific category based on the person sending it, you are going to check the From box here on this first initial box. So for an example, for Raven and Towns County, it would say from Robert Brewer. The next thing you do is click Advanced Options. What you want to do here is we want to specify that what we want to categorize is only a meeting invitation or update. If we did not check this box, what would happen is every email and meeting request and update, which was sent from Jamie for me or Robert for, for Raven and Towns, would automatically be categorized. But the way we've got this here, by checking this box, we are asking only that the meeting invitation or update be specified for a specific category. So we click Next after checking that box. Then what we want to do is we want to assign it to the category X. So we're going to check this box. Now to pick the category that you assign it to, you come to this middle section here, and you actually click on Category. Select your category, and for A&R, obviously, it's red in your environment. The dark blue is for FCS, the dark green for 4-H, etc. So click the UGA box here for my example, and I say OK. Once I say OK to that, we can now see that it says Assign to the UGA category. We click Next. We look and see if there's any exceptions, which 99.9% .9 of the time you will not have any exceptions. We click Next, and then we can name the rule something that is specific. That way you won't get it confused with anything. I want to run this rule on the meeting request that's already in my inbox, and so then I just click Finish. And as you can see, I'm going to click Cancel here on this box, as you can see, this meeting request has been marked for the UGA category. You can see it's red, and if I right-click on it, you can see it's already marked it for UGA. Now, this rule will be beneficial in that it will keep the managers of the UGE addresses from having to right-click on those meetings that you accept from the agents or program assistants. You won't have to right-click on those and select the category. If you go ahead and create rules for all of the people in your office that will be sending you meeting requests based on my email and the recommendation that I think everyone should create their appointment and invite the UGE address, once the UGE account receives this meeting request, it will automatically categorize into the appropriate category so when the meeting is accepted and appears on the calendar, it will automatically um, have the appropriate category. So if I look here um, for today, here's my test appointment from Jamie, and if I open it up, we can see that it is UGA. So that's how simple it is to create the rule and how beneficial and how time-saving it will be, and also it will help maintain the consistency of the categories and making sure that, you know, the categories that are seen um, coincide with our color coding and that we don't accidentally leave one off and it doesn't have a color. So that's our little example for creating a rule to automatically assign a category.